Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the second. We know the timing is fluid, right? The timing is always fluid. These readings are timeless. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to watch me. Um, I know I have some more Januaries to do. I've been caught up in a lot of busy work, so... I know that they're due and it's plaguing me, trust me. Um, and uh, I just, I, 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 I put my taxes off, you know, my, my income taxes. And the deadline is October 15th. So I've been doing my taxes. I hate to do the taxes. Of course, I'm the triple queen of pentacles now, right? So I don't care to do the taxes because then I have to pay the taxes. And my taxes are a lot. Okay, so anyhow, um, they're just about done now, and um, plus I'm a mother, you guys all know that, so that's where I've been doing my taxes, they're almost done, thank the Lord Jesus. So anyway, what do we have, not really, I mean yes, but you know, I, whatever, I just, I don't really care to pay the taxes, but I'm gonna do it. Um... So anyway, what do we got to do? <laughs> yeah, that's what we got to do. Anyhow, so let's get to the reading. That's where I've been, and it's it's a it's a huge process. Uh, so yeah, what do we have for a message today? It's basically paying the dues, right? It's interesting how I start out a reading. I have to. of swords <laughs> okay the tower the tower so this is needing to make a choice there's going to be an event that this is force okay this is Uranus Uranus is blunt force you are being forced to make a choice because twos are about choices. It's going to be a difficult choice. It is going to be a difficult... Oh! We got the Empress on the bottom. So it may have to do with a mother or a wife or a feminine that is very valuable. Um, she may be also be the one that is making the choice. I mean, the Empress is unconditional love. It is a mother's love. It's somebody that is very abundant. Um... They're going to have to make a choice. Need to be honest. Somebody needs to be honest with themselves. They're, they're going to need to open their eyes. And they're going to be opening their eyes. Because this is a rude awakening. <laughs> Somebody is getting a rude awakening. They may have been trying to avoid. These are both cards of avoidance. Somebody's been trying to avoid. But this is a wake-up call. It absolutely is a wake-up call. So you can't avoid it. You can't avoid this disruption because the tower is a disruption. So there's going to be a disruption. It's been avoided. You can't avoid it anymore. That is the energy right now in the universe. This is the universe. So you're going to have to own up. But there's some sort of uh, painful choice that needs to be made. Fear is in the way. You have to open your eyes. You have to choose uh, wisely. Um, there's been blocked. Somebody's been blocked. You know, they've been blocking the truth. There's some sort of falseness here in denial. Somebody's been in denial. They've been blocking themselves from acknowledging the truth. But there's some sort of disruption that reveals the truth that cannot be ignored. Okay? Can't be ignored. Can't ignore it. Okay? The tower is a fated event. Okay? Um, it looks to me as though uh, it's an explosion of some sort. It looks like there's an explosion. This is like a ball of fire. Um, it is. Somebody could be getting thrown out or they could be, you know, trying to escape, but I don't think they're going to make it. 
I don't think they're going to make it. So that's interesting. Um, it's too hard of a fall. You know, it's like they're hitting the ground. Somebody is hitting the ground and they're, they're, they are. They're literally hitting the ground. And it and, and it's interesting because I don't know if this is a crash. I mean, somebody's going to hit the ground. There is going to be some sort of crash. Okay. Bang, boom, pop. Um, and there could, there, a fire could, I mean, there could be a fire. I just, I mean, there could be. Somebody is not seeing the danger either, which is interesting. Um, eight of Wands reverse. Now, both of these cards are blocked. There's, there's blocked here. Somebody may have been blocked, and I don't know in what way, but there's blocking here. Blocking communication not communicating, not moving forward. Something is coming to a stop or they ha it has come to a stop. Communication may come to a stop. Movement, movement is going to come to a stop. It, it, this could be a disaster. Okay, the tower could absolutely be a disaster. No, we got you know, these people that, you know, think it's dark. They think it's dark for me to talk about stuff like this but this is reality okay those people that don't want to talk about reality are this person right here with the fucking mask on their eyes not their mouth they probably talk a lot okay they're probably not wearing it over their mouth unfortunately but they're wearing it over their eyes they don't want to see the truth the people that don't want to acknowledge any darkness that's that's you Okay, that's you. Blocking the fucking truth. Excuse my language. That'll trigger some people too. You're going to be triggered. Okay, I'm here to uh, trigger you. Anyhow, um, this is a... This is false impressions, right? It's falseness. It's a false sense of security. Wearing that blindfold and pretending that everything is stable and secure and okay and peachy is not going to get you anywhere. Anyhow, whatever. This is blocking emotions. We have somebody here that's blocking the truth, blocking emotions, living in a false sense of security, right? This false foundation is about to blow up. I may have just blown it up for those of you that are wearing this mask. You could get blocked really, really fast. Somebody could get blocked. You know, they could end up getting blocked for their falseness. Temperance reversed. Temperance reverse. This is very unbalanced. We have somebody here that is engaging in negative patterns. Something is off. They're going overboard. This is extremely chaotic. There's, there's a lot. Of, there's chaos here. Chaos is about to unfold. We have somebody here that is overdoing it. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be a Scorpio doesn't have to be could be anybody um, but this is extremely unbalanced um, impatient uh, frustrated somebody is frustrated and they're not being heard they're not being heard <clears throat> There's going to be a conflict. Oh, that just came flying out. I don't know if you can see it. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Not working out. Something's not going to work out. Somebody's not trying hard enough. They don't want to work. They don't want to put in any effort. And therefore, 
whatever whatever they've been doing isn't something isn't working out in their life and it's because they're lacking ambition we do have somebody here that lacks ambition they're not willing to put in any effort to change things or to work this person doesn't want to work or something like that there's this is some sort of uh I feel like it's a chaos. There's chaos that is about to unfold. I feel like it's a fire sign. I feel like we're dealing with a fire sign because of this eight of wands and this fire and this. I don't know. I could be wrong, um, but I, I feel like it is. And you may need to protect yourself. This could, you may you need to really open your eyes. You, somebody may need to protect themselves. Okay. Anyhow. Um, there's something that is off here. Something isn't right. Healing is needed. And we have somebody here that is not willing to heal. They don't want to deal with the pain. They don't want to work on, you know, bringing balance to their lives. Therefore, they're, they're just, you know, very insecure. And there, there's about to be some sort of explosion. This person's been holding their emotions in, blocking their emotions, not communicating. And what happens when you do that, when you, when you push down the feelings and you push down the emotions and you, and you don't let them out, what happens when you finally get to a point where you can't take it anymore? Boom! Just like that. Three of Pentacles. This is about working with people, needing to work with people, communicate, compromise. So we have somebody here that has been blocking people, definitely unwilling, unwilling to work with anybody. Sorry about that. Two of Pentacles. Everything happens for a reason. That came out like that for a reason. I didn't control it. I couldn't control it. This is out of control. So there's going to be a change. We get the infinity sign twice. So there's some something that is coming back around. This is a balancing act. It's a balancing act. Somebody and somebody has been putting on an act. They've been playing some sort of games. Going back and forth, very uh, frustrated with their life's circumstances. They're in some sort of false sense of security. They know it's false. They know it's not safe. They know it's not stable. But they're staying there because for some reason they've been able to balance it, right? But they're not going to be, able, they're, there's some sort of situation that is happening that is, is going to cause disruption. You, it's like it's falling apart. It's like when the, uh, the rope breaks, when you're playing tug of war, you know, that kind of thing. It's like when the ball drops, this is when the ball drops. And it's a mess and you and, and you know, you got to start over. So, a change is coming. This is about alignment. You know, the Two of Pentacles is about geometric powers. So there's some sort of earthly powers that are larger, and there really is, than ourselves. This earthly power is forcing a realignment for somebody that is imbalanced. This person that is imbalanced is unwilling to put in any effort to change. They don't want to work with anybody, but 
they're just not ready. This person just isn't ready. They're not ready to change. They're in denial. They fight all the time, you know, whatever. Angry. But anyhow, whoever this person is has been pushing their emotions down and blocking their... Um, and see the water coming out. That's interesting. They really have been blocking their emotions. Water is about emotions. But I feel like they're about to uh, be dealing with their emotions because they're going to explode. They're going to explode. And I feel like they're going to uh, crash. It is. It's like they crash. It's like a crash and burn kind of situation. They They lose it. They lose it and then it's like a big boom. It's like boom. They acted impulsively. Somebody acted impulsively because they, they can't. It's like a, it's that moment. It's that moment of release, right? And they do something crazy. And I do feel like it's crazy. I feel like they do something crazy and uh, just like I did. Okay? Just now. So it's weird how things happen. Everything happens for a reason. Somebody has been resisting change with that temperance reversed because temperance comes after the death card. There's something needs to end, but they've been holding on, refusing. It's not serving them. It's not doing them well. They've been blocking the truth, blocking their... Uh, well, they just don't have any um, desire to, to deal with it. Okay, they don't have any desire to put to, you know, compromise, but compromise is needed. So compromise is definitely needed here. Uh, interesting. The hermit. The hermit is about time to reflect. Now it's over here. So this is taking time to reflect, reflect coming up with a plan. So we may have somebody that has been in solitude, and I do feel that is the case because there's no communication here. There's blocked communication. So I feel like we have somebody that has been in a sort of hermit mode, that has been isolated, may have chosen to isolate themselves. It feels like they're planning something and they're about to come out. It's like they're coming out. You know, they've, they've been inside, they've been sticking, they've been staying inside, but they're coming out because I feel like they're coming out. I feel like there's some jealousy issues here as well with that eight of wands reversed. There's some sort of issues with jealousy or maybe even, uh, Guilt. This person may have a guilty conscience because this is somebody who's consciously aware, aware and this is guilty, you know, which is interesting. The full reverse. We got somebody here that isn't very wise. This person isn't very wise, but this is foolish. It is foolish. We have somebody here that is about to do something foolish. I'm telling you, I know that's what's going on. We got somebody here that's about to do something foolish. This person has a plan. They have a plan. They're going to fall flat on their... They're going to fall, okay? The fool reversed. The tower reversed. Uh, they're, the temper... There's going to be a fall. They're going to fall. They're going to they fall flat on their face. They're, and I saw it here. They're going to fall. And I feel like they're moving extremely fast. You know, they, they do, they are. And then maybe that's why the Eight of Wands, because that can be extremely, extremely fast. They don't see something. They may run into something. Somebody may run into something. They're moving extremely fast. It feels like they're going, they're going somewhere. They, they think they're going somewhere. Um, but I don't think they're going to get there. I hate to say that, but I think that is the truth. Um... I think we had this reading the other day. Anyway, the fool reverse. That is a spur of the moment decision. It's foolish. It's somebody who isn't, doesn't, you know, uh, isn't very smart. Isn't very smart with their decision. Uh, this is reckless. It's reckless behavior. This is an individual that only listens to themselves. 
okay this is uh, I listen to me I don't listen to anybody so we definitely have an individual it is a very similar reading apparently it didn't happen yesterday so it's gonna happen today or whatever you know this is definitely coming so my advice is to beware be very wary where <laughs> okay beware okay there's going to be an event there's going to be or you're gonna hear about it um, but that you don't want somebody's gonna be stopped it's not going to happen. They're going to try, but it's not going to work out. They're going to get hurt. Um, they are going to get hurt. Uh, hmm. We have somebody here that... Is headed for a fall. Okay? They are. With the full reverse the tower, they are headed for a fall. This person is not seeing clearly. They are not seeing clearly. They're confused. Uh, they're they're blocked. They're they're they may have some sort of blocked vision. You know, this is blocked, and this is no vision. So there's a, there's definitely blocked vision here, or it could be really dark because there's darkness here. So they could somebody could go out at night, and they can't see correctly. It feels like they could run into something, and um, you know. Um, a change is definitely coming because that two of pentacles is, you know, an earthly power. Okay. Because if you, if you think about that, I mean, something's holding those up. Okay. That's an earthly power higher than ourselves. Okay. So there, there is, there, there is some sort of, uh, universal change here. It's not in your control. It's not, people say, I got a comment the other day about free will, some lady, she's blocked now. She said, oh, but your free will overrides it. Your free will does not override the universe. You're going to pay your dues for what you did in previous lifetimes and in this lifetime. You can't will it away. That's you with a blindfold on thinking you can. You can't. You have to pay your dues. Just like I have to pay my fucking taxes. Interesting. How I start out my readings. Anyhow, get prepared for the universe. Because the tower is the universe. And it is... It is a Uranus card. Uranus is drastic change that you are trying to avoid. But the universe says, nope. You can't. It's time for you to leave that baggage behind. It's time for you to start your new chapter. You're refusing to change. You're refusing to see it. So we're going to continue to shake it up until you do. So get prepared for another shake up. Because everybody has to pay their dues. Good luck.